Hi, I'm Marilyn San Clemente of Stamp with Marilyn, and welcome to my creative playground. Okay, now, so today, I really wanted to play with this countryside corners because I just thought that this was really, it has this stamp design, and then it has these dies, and basically you can stamp the design. I used my Stamparatus, which made it go really fast um, for stamping. And so I stamped the design and I did, I chose six different colors and I wanted bright colors. So I have Melon Mambo, Crushed Curry, The Berry Burst, Coastal Cabana, Lemon Lime Twist, and Granny Apple Green. So I chose six different colors. I stamped them all. I stamped this image on my colors with that with that particular color. So this is Granny Apple Green. This is Granny Apple Green on Lemon Lime Twist. This is Coastal Cabana on Coastal Cabana. And so I just did the color on that paper. And then I cut them all apart. It took me about a half an hour to do that. And, but look at all these pieces that I have. And I just think that there's so many cool things that we'll be able to do with something like that. So. This is one card that I did. I also stamped a whole bunch of the daisies and I'm trying to remember the name of this set. Is it Smiling? Sending Smiles, that's it. I was gonna say Smiling Daisies, I knew that wasn't right. So Sending Smiles stamp set. So what I did was I took one of each of the colors, I took that bright and beautiful since all these colors are in that bright and beautiful and I, I pulled one of the backgrounds from that and then I just layered these and came up with this really cool pattern. And then used the sending a note of thanks. And I, I just think that there's going to be some really cool things that you can do with it. So I just had fun playing with it today. And I'm going to continue to play with it because obviously I have a lot of pieces cut. So I think I'll have some fun with this. So this one I thought was really cool. So again, I used the bright and beautiful and I used the balloons. And I cut out this window here. And then I used this, I think it's time for a celebration. And so that could be used, I think this could be either a really good graduation card because it's got the stars on it with the balloons, or it could be a really good birthday card. And then this, these are all those colors that are in that bright and beautiful set. So, and this is, this paper is also from the bright and beautiful set. Like I said, that's paper, I think that paper is going to be my go-to. So for the flowers here, I used Crushed Curry and Melon Mambo, um, Coastal Cabana in Melon Mambo, Melon Mambo in Crushed Curry. And then this is the new Berry Burst and um, Crushed Curry for the center of the flower. Okay, so I have a couple more cards here that I had in mind. So let's make these. I don't think they'll take too long to make, I hope. I hope they won't take too long to make. So what I found when I started playing with this is um, you need to cut out that background. So I actually went through and cleaned out my drawers today. So these are colors that have retired. This is the Blushing Bride. This is Sahara Sand. This is um, Mint Macaron. And those colors have retired. But when you're building your, I don't know what to call it, when you're building your piece, <laughs> um, it doesn't matter what the background is because you're not gonna see it because you're going to build all these pieces on top of it. So what I have here is I have a, two pieces of Coastal Cabana. I have two pieces of Basic White that I have embossed with the new Blossoms embossing folder that goes with this. It's part of this set as well. And I have two pieces of Pool Party um, to use as my card background. You like the balloon card? Yeah, I like the one with the sending smiles too. So, okay, so this is an eight and a half by five and a half piece of Pool Party cardstock and I'm just going to score that or I did score it I'm sorry I'm just going to fold that in half and I'm going to take one of my pieces of white and I'm going to take my coastal cabana so the white will fit on the coastal cabana so the coastal cabana piece is 
five inches by three and three quarters, and then this white piece is three and five eighths by um, four and seven eighths. And then I embossed it with the blossoms embossing folder that is part of this set. So I'm going to put this together. And we're going to do some more stuff with the daisies from the Sending Smiles. I love those daisies. I like the new daisies, too. You can never have enough daisies. Actually, daisies are one of my favorite flowers. I'm going to date myself here, but when I was a kid, there was a song called, um, it was a really romantic song. It was about this guy that gave his wife a daisy a day. And um, I just remember that. So, okay, so since I'm using the the um, blues and greens here, I'm going to use my retired mint macaron piece. And what I want to do is I stamp this in three different colors. So I've got, I have the pool party here. I have white. And I have coastal cabana. So you can see I've just got the three different shades there. Okay, and this one I did not cut out every single layer like I did with the colors. This one I cut out kind of groupings. So what I thought I would start with was a layer of white. So I just wanted to make some cool groupings for this. So I'm going to start with a layer of white. And then, I'm not sure what I'm going to do next. Okay, that's wide. So... Let's do this layer, and then let's do this. Oh no, that's gonna be too, oh no, that still works. I can put that like that. And then I wanted to do this white here, like that. I think that'll be pretty. Okay, so let's put that together. So I'm going to use my fine tip glue And let's just shake that up a little bit. There we go. And okay, yeah, you can see. Okay. Just want to make sure. Ah. Okay. So I'm just going to use my fine tip glue and I'm going to put that together. And let me put this on top of here. And I'm trying not to put too much glue on it because when you put too much glue on, it squeezes out and then you've got little, um, oh, what are they called? Shiny spaces. When the glue dries, it's shiny. So you get little shiny spaces, so. I'm just putting enough on. Okay. And then this I'm going to put on here. Okay, so I've got a combination of colors there. I'm going to add this to the front of my card. Oops. Might need to let that dry for a minute. Okay, so I'm going to put that on here. to cover up this part. I think with the next one I won't use I won't use as many layers because I hate to lose that part. Okay. So now I have some more of the daisies that I cut here. I don't want to use the coastal cabana though because I think that's going to um, <clears throat> blend in too much. We need a saying for the middle. So um, I can use the sending or I can just say Let's just say birthday wishes in the middle. 
Oops, if I can get it open. There we go. Okay, so let's put the birthday in there. Okay, so now let's add some of our daisies. So I've got, these are crushed curry with the um, melon mambo on the inside. And here's melon mambo. So maybe if we do this, let's do this actually. Let's put that up here. And we'll put this here. And we'll put this over on this side. So I'm just going to use my seal and attach that. And let's use, put a dimensional on this one. Okay, so these are some of the new embellishments. These are the in-color pearls. So I cleaned out my scrap drawer today, which took a little bit of time. <laughs> my scrap drawers are very full. And <clears throat> I cleaned out all my embellishments today, and I did, I started a second little bin for the retired embellishments because I'll still use them on cards and things but I just want to make sure I have the uh, retired ones separate from the um, the current ones so that I don't get them mixed up if I'm doing swaps or things like that so okay I'm going to put this one on as well and let's put that there and let's put one of these in here there we go. And let's put a couple of these around. I'm just going to randomly, I love these iridescent pearls. They're so pretty. Oops. Okay. And I'm just going to randomly put those around. pearls and let's add a flower to this inside and for this one let's use one of the coastal cabana ones there we go we'll do that go. Okay, so here's our first card using the Countryside Corner dies. And so I have one more, the same pool party card stock. And I'm just going to fold that in half and score it. Or it is scored, sorry. Burnish it. And then this one I want to make an image that is smaller. I don't want to make a full image like I did with this one. So again, I have this piece of white card stock that I've embossed with the countryside, the blossoms and countryside blossoms embossing folder, which is part of this set. And this is this whole set here. So it's this stamp. And these are all the dies to cut each of the layers out. And this is, these are some uh, pool party layers that I cut out. And then these are some colored ones that I cut out today. And I use those to do this, to do this card here. But I just wanted to play around with the colors and see how they look. So, okay, so this one, I don't want a wider layer on this. I want to use a smaller 
piece. So I'm going to start with, so if I just start with this, and then actually use that, and it's too bad I don't have one more, let's see, that's white, yeah, no, that's not going to work, okay, so let's take this one, and do that, there we go, okay, so, I'm going to start with this piece, because you're going to start with your larger piece first, I'm just going to use it, just a stripe of glue all the way around. Center that, or try to center it. Okay. And then I'm going to use this pool party piece. And this white. that in a minute. Get that straight. There we go. Okay, now let's do Okay, so all these pieces fit together. It's like a puzzle. <laughs> I like that. Now Let's put this in here. And we can decorate this. How about a card to say hello? Or smiles across the miles, that's a good one. that fit? No, that's going to be too long. Okay, a card to say hello. Okay, and let's use the Coastal Cabana. Yes, it is one giant stamp, and then you cut it all apart. And like I showed here, you can cut it into, you can cut each layer apart if you want, or you can cut it into larger pieces like this. So that's why I wanted to do this today, was to show people how to, how to use this, because I just think that there's so much that you can do with this stamp. So now let's add some daisies to this. as well. Oops. Let's put this on um, the dimensional. There we go. Oops. That. Okay, so I've got daisies and all that, and again, I'm going to go back, let's try one of these different, okay, so these are the ink color pearls, those, nope, we don't want those, there's a whole bunch of rhinestone colors, new rhinestone, oh, here we go, that's what we want, and I don't know why, but with this catalog, all the names are on the back. So these are called the Tinsel Gems. This green is really pretty. I guess that's Pool Party, isn't it? Since this is Pool Party. It's either Pool Party or it's uh, Coastal Cabana. Um, okay, so let's mix these up a little bit. Let's use a couple of blue. Let's put a 
couple of green ones down on the bottom here. These are really round. They're like round like pearl round. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. So if we do that. That's a pretty. Do that there. Okay. So there's a few different ideas that you can do with those, um, the countryside borders. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope to see some of you uh, Thursday night. And uh, yeah, I love that Sending Smiles set. That's, I yeah. I was kind of surprised because they brought out that other um, Cheerful Daisy set that they didn't retire Sending Smiles, but I'm glad that they didn't because they're, they're very different sets. They're both daisies, but they're very different daisy sets. So I'm glad that they didn't retire it, but... Okay, so thank you for stopping by tonight. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you're not on my newsletter list, go out to stampwithmarilyn.com and sign up for my newsletter. And have a great rest of the week. Happy stamping!